Hello there. Today we are doing another collaboration recipe recreation from a fellow blogger, fellow YouTube channel partner. My friend Ungletar Cheramba from South Africa came to South Africa from Zimbabwe. She has her own site and I'm going to put down the URL down at the bottom of the screen and you can also see it on the blog. So don't worry, you will be able to click on that tell you a little bit about more her as we go through. So the first thing we're going to do is going to marinate. So we're going to put a little salt, pepper on both sides, nice bone-in pork chops. Right. You always want to put salt and pepper on your proteins. We're going to take a plastic bag and then we're going to put the pork chops in and then we're going to continue the marinade. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some star anise. This is it crushed. This is what it looks like. It's actually a star. It's kind of got a licorice flavor. So that's going to go in. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. And some Chinese five spice. Chinese five spice has anise as well as cinnamon and some other flavors. She uses real lemongrass, but most people here in the States are hard to find, so we're just going to use lemongrass here from Penzi Spices, about a teaspoon. As you know, I'm fond of the minced garlic for marinades, so we're going to put about a tablespoon of minced garlic in, and then we're going to add in a tablespoon of sesame oil. About the same of fish sauce. The sauce is very pungent. And that one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. All right, so we're going to seal this and we're going to let it marinate for about an hour. Roll it around, make sure everything gets over. So once we get the marinade together, we'll be back and start to cook the dish. All right, so the chops have marinated. Very nice, so you see. And we're going to heat them in a pan. We're going to cook on the stove top to sear them, and we're going to finish them in the oven. We're going to get the heat to high, and it'll sear on both sides. So, Angulator actually worked in a kitchen, knows a lot about cooking, and is, uh, is translated that into blogging and YouTube. So, we're using Bone In. Bone in, chop, cook a little more evenly. They don't dry out because of the bone. We have two minutes on each side on high. One thing you want to have, a little handy dandy thermometer. So for pork, you want it to come out at around 140 or so. You will continue to cook as you let it rest. And one of the things she likes to do with these keto pork chops She's on a keto diet, and so her website is very much a keto uh, recipe factory. Uh, she's got a little chili sauce that goes on these. All right, it's been a couple minutes. We're going to turn them. Good. Brown on them. We're on high heat again, as I mentioned. You can really smell the cinnamon um, of, his, of the five spice. Okay, as we're cooking these, I want to thank all of our subscribers, and I'd like to invite our subscribers to check out her website, her YouTube channel. A lot of interesting low-fat, keto, low-carb recipes. Uh, I think you'll enjoy them. I think we're just about ready to check these. They're nicely done. All right, so we're going to finish these in the oven for about six, seven minutes. Let's just check the temp where we are right now. They're close to 100. So they will take a while. So there's two things we're going to do to help to not dry out. we got about half a cup of chicken stock. I'm going to put 
about a tablespoon of butter on each chop. All right, that's going into a 375 preheated oven, and we'll be back. The chops are in the oven. We're going to go ahead and make the chili sauce, and it's very simple. It's two ingredients. This, we're going to pretend this is sugar-free ketchup. It's really not, but that's what they use on keto. Um, and this is chili paste. So we're going to get a quarter teaspoon of chili paste, and that's going to go right in. Stir that. And that's going to be the uh, chili sauce that's going to go onto the chops when they come out of the oven. So our pork chops are out of the oven. They were in about 8 minutes or so, and you can see we're at about 140, a little over 140. They're going to rest for about 5 minutes, then we're going to serve them on the plate. So the chops have rested 5 minutes. Let me show you how nice they look. Really nice in these cast iron pans. You sear them, and then you put them in the oven and finish them. So, we're serving tonight with green beans. I'm going to take a chop. Put it right on the plate. Uh, look at that. Put a little bit of juice on. Oh, look at that. This is the keto pork chop with chili sauce that I almost forgot. So this is the chili sauce we made a little earlier. Put a little of that on. And there you have it. I want to thank Angulator, my new friend from South Africa for her recipe for the keto pork chopped with chili sauce. Please uh, visit her website and her YouTube channel. Give her some on my love. Thanks to our subscribers. Really appreciate you guys watching and, and uh, subscribing and going to our various social media sites. So as we have gone around the world, Tom from the UK, Greg in Cincinnati, Rosina in Scotland by way of Iran, and now Angulator in South Africa by way of Zimbabwe. The international style cooking secrets for men. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.